afternoon, folks. It's Rob here at the Chop Shop. Hope everybody had a great 4th of July weekend. So today on the Chop Shop, we're going to be talking about rigging and attachment systems. They vary uh, in all shapes and sizes, different, you know, pocket clip types. And I think I've done a piece on this before. You know, you've got the ulti clip style that are just pocket clips uh, that can be used for both guns and knives. Then you have, you have tech locks or safe locks, uh, more of a, this is a little bit of a bigger style attachment system with a whole configuration here to be able to get your stuff rigged. When, and this may be very elementary to a lot of you guys, okay, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it because I kind of enjoy it. There are so many different variations and permutations of, of available hardware and types and it really has more to do with your imagination and what you can do than the actual hardware in and unto itself. So for instance, like this sheath right here, there's a number of ways that you can attach to it. You could put a single pocket clip up on one of these lower ones where you would have a, a single pivot location or you have a dual point location. There are or you could actually set one up, rig one of these up on it. It can be done. But what I'm gonna do now is, is really quick, give you an idea on how this works. So what you would do is, for instance, we've got two eyelets here, okay? One way you can do it is you can stick your T-posts. That's what, let me, let me go on and say, okay, so let me get up in here. That is a Chicago screw or sometimes called a T-post. They come in, that's a rather tall one. They come shorter, as if you guys can see right here, okay? Um, in varying sizes, as well as hardware. For instance, here, there's one screw type. Here's a flathead. It's a button head or a truss head screw. This one, if you see how it's got flat in the bottom. I, I, I really like these because they're such a nice fit and they leave such a nice clean surface to keep from snagging. And then you got these guys. This is another type, okay? These are all available at places like knife kits, um, MSC, McMaster car. I prefer, I prefer knife kits. I like to plug them because they're great. They're good people to work for and they're a small Georgia company that, you know, could use a lot of help. Let me get off here, I'm trying to wiggle a little bit. So, people who've had a hard time with the safe locks and figuring out how to get them set up, it's actually really easy. Uh, you can slide your T-post in this way, use a rubber washer, right? Go ahead and put that over so that it locks your T-post in place, see? And whatever thickness or whatever widths you've got really doesn't, you know, depends on what you've got. And sometimes I know there are varying situations. We try to set ours up so that at least the top four on either side are gonna rig up at an in inch and a half constant. The, the safe locks are set up that way. There was a standard at one time when I got into the industry about 12 years ago where everybody tried to maintain at a, at a 750 or a .75 or three quarters standard, uh, which was great because overall it worked you, as you progressed, it worked you out to molly, right? Which is three inches on center, which worked you out. It worked, great, worked out great. Um, it seems that the industry is getting further and further away from that. So that's why a lot of companies like UltiClip have done a really great job of Generate, generating and making uh, equipment that's a little bit more uh, di dynamic, I would say, you know? Uh, so what you would do is you'd, you know, you put both of those two on there and that now they're held in place so that you can then, in this case, mount your, you know, your, your Dracon or whatever like here's a here's some uh these are some trainers that are in process right well i set these up on that inch and a half standard see that's how i try to work most of them um 
you know, like here's a, uh, here's a light fighter here. Now this light fighter, this is new. I've cut a slot in here for, a, and it's on a real tight tolerance so that you can pivot and lock something in shorter like one of these kind of clips. You can put it here and it's a little short, but yet it still works with our inch and a half standard, okay? So, and then like here, here's a, here's a fang sheath, same thing. I set it up, inch and a half standard, it works. But this will also work with all the Ulti clips. If you, it, it really doesn't matter. Ulti clip has done a really good job of staying with that. But as far as, as far as the, these types of, um, you know, these injection molded style larger clips, this is one of the better ones. In my opinion, this is the Safe Lock uh, by Dots. Um, I think Cutco um, has the ability to make these. So these are my new favorite as far as these large, larger ones go. Um, as far as your regular pocket clip style, you know, you've got Ulti Clip, which is great. They're phenomenal. But the focus today is more on you understanding how to make this work. So for instance, you can reverse this. You don't necessarily have to go this way. You can pop this out right push these out of here and you can reverse this to where if you want to run it to where your t-post if you like the look of it on the sheath better see you can do that here see and then you do the same thing you use a taller post and then you can put your washers right on there and then this will attach right to this and you're good to go so Today's show is about the different variations in hardware and attachments. As far as uh, how, if you guys ever have any issues with attaching and you have questions, I don't know how to get my stuff rigged up or whatever, please don't feel, you know, don't hesitate. Give me a holler, rob at star15.com. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help, all right? Another thing is your different style of, you know, you can go um, Allen, you can go Torx. You could go slot at a star. That's kind of old school. You know, your your torques are really, your, you can really, that's why I call them torques. You can really torque them down. Your Allen style, uh, I mean, like even these, these button heads, these are regular star. I mean, it's okay, it's fine. It's whatever floats your boat, you know? And they offer a lot of things. Like you can find them in, like if you've got a blade that's kind of a lot of black going on and you feel like you want to dress your stuff up with some bronze, they make bronze, they make all kinds of stuff with different types of coatings, all kinds of options. So this is Rob here with the Chop Shop. Just trying to give you guys a little bit of insight on what's available as far as attachments and rigging. Again, if you got any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me, rob at star15.com. You can PM me on either Facebook or Instagram. It really doesn't matter. So appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next week. Peace. Have a great week.